Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? Today is going to be one of the first warm days we've had since spring started. And it's supposed to be almost up to 90 degrees today. Uh, yesterday, I think it was 86. Tomorrow's gonna be 83. And then it's gonna drop down into the low 60s during the day, and we're supposed to get rain. After that, it's gonna go right up to the 70s. So I know that we are pretty much done with our cold weather. And because of that, I wanna take advantage of the next two days of it being warm, and we are going to clean our outdoor rugs. And I, I hesitate to show you this, but hopefully I'm not the only one that this happens to. This rug that sits under our fire pit is an eight by 10, and it is, green uh, for the most part. <laughs> I believe we purchased this rug, oh, somewhere between five and eight years ago. And it has stayed under our patio the majority, well, the entire time, until last year when we bought a new rug for our back patio that I think I told you about during our fall tour that we picked it up on clearance. These rugs, the more elaborate they are, the more expensive they are. And of course, the larger size, like I would like to get a nine by 12 under our patio and they can be as low as 150 and they can go to up to five, $600. I would like to replace this, but my budget says, let's clean it. And what I wanted to show you is the mold and mildew that has, uh, we've accumulated over the course of winter and i'm going to explain why we why this happened when we get rain and we did have a wet winter what happens is we'll have a period of overcast days and then it won't you know go above the 50s so it's dark it's cold this is wet and it never really dries out and because we had a lot of that over the winter. Uh, that's why I think this happened because we've never had it uh, get moldy and mildew like this. I am hoping, and I think it will come out, when we clean these rugs, or this one at least, and I don't do it every year, uh, but when we do, we just pressure wash it. And I wanted to show you, we bought this about, well, back in 2009 maybe, and it's uh, a gas-powered pressure washer, and this is not my um, expertise. This is something that my husband uh, bought, and we originally purchased it to uh, pressure wash the sidewalks, and because we had the Chinese pistache that we had, I did not know that that tree came in male and female. The one that we had that was probably 40 years old was female and it made a mess in the spring. And that's why we purchased this. Because it's warm today, we're gonna take advantage of getting both these rugs cleaned. And what we'll do is we'll come back, we'll lay them out here. For the most part, they'll dry up front because our driveway faces south and so the sun will beat on it and it's warm enough that these dry pretty quickly if it's warm. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll them up and I'm gonna wait till this rain passes. Then I'm gonna put them back out because I kinda wanna have it looking halfway decent when we do a backyard uh, spring tour here coming up pretty soon. So I just wanted to show you how we clean our outdoor rugs.
Good morning, everyone. It's the next day, and I wanted to wait one full day to make sure that it was completely dry. It was dry late last night, but our oldest had uh, some friends over, and I didn't want to really film with them around. However, weren't you amazed at how the pressure washer was just able to clean all that mold and mildew? We did not use any soap whatsoever, and I'm trying to think if we've ever used soap. I think I have spot cleaned a couple of places with different rugs that we've pressure washed, but those have been inside that um, I haven't wanted to take to the dry cleaners per se. <laughs> and so last year we did that to a few of our area rugs uh, in our driveway and I did use a little bit of soap and spot clean. But as far as the outdoor rugs, the pressure washer just cleans them up so well. Now, yes, I would venture to say since we put it out last summer, it has faded tremendously due to our intense summers. I think what we'll do it at the end of the season is see if they have any clearance outdoor rugs like we did last year. And if I choose to get um, one for here or there, I think I just might stay neutral, keep it a cream or a beige. So if the sun fades it, it's not quite as noticeable. Um, whereas if I had a color, you're gonna, you're gonna notice one season and it's completely faded. But I just wanted to show you how just simple pressure washing, if you have one. And I do know the pressure washers are an investment. Um, my mom bought one last year and hers is electric. Uh, so she plugs it in and hers does very well. And I think she paid not quite a hundred or just around a hundred for her pressure washer. So for those of you who think that your outdoor rug is gone because it's simply stained. If you have a pressure washer, try that, and I bet you'll be really happy with the outcome. Come back in a few weeks when we do our backyard tour, and fingers crossed, maybe you'll see some new chairs around the fire pit. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.